Last photo to my boy. Sending the last photo to my boss. Oh, no, 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 no. <sighs> that was close. Boss, did you fetch me? Yeah, yeah, Stacy, come in. I called you no in a difficult matter. But I don't quite understand. Oh. <laughs> One day you sent me. And Mr. Reed, your dear regarding project development. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> and I was hoping you'd like that. Well, it doesn't sound like a good idea to me, but Mr. Reed is interested for some reason. So he's going to make you the co-lead on the project with me. Oh, that's great. That's great. That's, that's really amazing. I, I, I can't believe that I've put so much into this project. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, except one thing. But don't you worry, I won't give it away. <laughs> I will like super surprised. As if I find it out about it for the first no. time. As if I... No, Stacy. No, you're going to refuse it. What? But... It means you won't accept the offer. But wait. I dreamed about this position. And you know how much I have done. Got it. Stacy, Stacy, Stacy. You should listen to what I'm saying. Or what? You you don't you don't get to make this decision, because when I accept the offer, I will no longer be your employer. So you <laughs> Uh, you really think you're going to get to run the project nuclear rights with me? Don't be so naive. Thanks for the advice. Nice body. I couldn't tell. Mr. Stewart, it was a mistake. It was totally accidental. My phone just mixed up the contacts. And when it happened, I deleted it right away, so you wouldn't think that and I... I didn't. I just managed to save the pic. And who knows where it might... Totally accidentally. Go next. <laughs> you don't get the job anyway, dearie. But they either refuse it voluntarily or you'll go off the project in disgrace. Go and think about it. So this way we can clearly see how money works when they're not business. And if anything, how we can transition macro processes to some of these specific cases that we'll be addressing in the upcoming quarter. Stacy, thank you for helping me to put together this financial report. I don't know what would I have done without you. You're welcome, that's my job. No, 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 no. You actually do a lot more than that. And, you know, all these years I've been able to rely on you, and you've never given me any reason question your dedication to our company. So, I made a decision to make you a co-lead at our project. You can be happy now. <laughs> Thank you so much for that, Mr. Reed. No. Oh. But I have to say no. <laughs> That's strange. Uh, because it it seemed pretty obvious to me that you wanted to be an executive. I do. Or, uh, I rather wanted to. Listen, I, I remember when you first came into a company and you were just a student, but I was fascinated by your eagerness. And I knew that you would achieve great success. So, I don't understand. Uh, listen, uh, are you having some kind of a family problems? Or maybe difficulties with your colleagues? No, 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 no. None of that. It's just... Um, just the people changing. I'm sorry to hear that. Um, 
But anyway, that's your decision. Can you present a plan for a board tomorrow? Yeah, sure. We had a deal. Thank you, Stacy. You're free to go. Thank you, Mr. Yeah, good day. Well, what have you decided? I said no. Good for you. That was the right decision. Do you still need me today? Because I need to finish my presentation. Oh, it's wonderful. By the way, you still have a chance to be a project manager. What do you mean by that? <clears throat> present the false plan tomorrow with the fake numbers, and you and I'll present the one you prepared earlier. No, ab absolutely there not. There is no need to yell. If you do that, the executive seat is yours. Why are you doing that? I've been sitting in the manager chairs. For this lucid project for too long, if I become the CEO, the things will be different around here. But, but Mr. Reed trusts us. He doesn't deserve that. Mr. Reed trusts us. You should have thought of that before you send me your spicy picture. If you don't help me, everyone in the office, including the board of directors, will see it. So don't waste your time. You've got a lot to do before tomorrow, like we all, yeah? Well, well, well. Dustin and your co-lead are running late. It's a joke. She's not my co-lead. What? What is that? She declined the position, probably afraid of the responsibility and decision I have to make on a daily basis, you know. Wow. Well, that's too bad. I was kind of hoping there would be one more woman in management. Nevertheless, she decided to not to go on that plane. Guys, before they start the presentation, I wanted to let you know what I'm deeply concerned about the expense report of the next quarter. The numbers, there are some obvious mistakes there. The numbers, they just don't end up. How can that be? I have suspicion that Dustin has been playing you for the money. He transferring company money for his personal accounts. This is unbelievable. I absolutely agree with you. If I were this here, I would never have allowed this to happen. Anyway, you don't need to worry, I just discovered in time, so Stacy and I prepared an alternative. Good afternoon, everyone. Good day, Dustin, good day. So, let's get started. Stacy? Yeah. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, Today we want to present to you the financial plan for the next quarter. As you can see, this is the money we have allocated for the usual project. For the purchase of new equipment, for the advertising and uh, other things. And if you look at the total amount requested and then calculate the money which department will receive, then it turns out that that three million just disappeared. Which means someone will put it in, in his pocket. Stacy, where did those numbers come from? Wait a minute, is there any clue as to who this person might be? Stacy, do you know who is stealing the money from the company? Uh, it's a... <clears throat> it's a... I'm so sorry. I'm oh, so sorry. Stacy, just answer the question. Yeah. Just a second. Stacy, just answer the question. Here. Uh. This is the picture Jack Stewart is blackmailing me with. It was sent to him completely by accident, but he sees it as an opportunity to just ruin my career. First, he forced me to give up my dream position, and then 
he dragged me into framing Mr. Reed in front of you to to destroy his reputation and then just taking his position. <laughs> That's not true. That Shut up, Jack. Stay should go on. When it was about just my career, I agreed to this blackmail to protect my my privacy and my dignity. But I I can't let another person suffer because of my mistake. Yeah. No reputation is worth than someone broken life. Jack, I thought you were my partner. We are still partners, my friend. She sent me the pick of herself. Okay. Kept hinting at intimacy and now she's lying right to her face. And what about the fact that you warned us before the presentation that Mr. Reed was putting the future of our company at risk? Maybe I mixed it something up, you know how it's happening. I, as the head of the company, move for a vote to fire Mr. Stewart. All those in favor? Stacy? What's mean Stacy? She has no right to work. That she does now. Because she's now the sole leader of the project. And you'll fire it. And if you share this photo, Mr. Stewart, I will personally make your life a living hell. Now go and pack your things. Liam. Wendy. Honey, we are so sorry that you had to go through all of this. I'm sure everybody will agree that in this situation... <laughs> about we discuss the actual report? Uh, that's a good idea. Yeah, I can't wait to present it. So. Hi, it's me, Gary, the showrunner of Dramatizing. Nice to see you guys again. We are about to hit two million subscribers and now we really need your help. Like, share this video, and of course, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Take care and See ya.